Hello, hello. Welcome to another weekend reading vlog. My name is Krista. You're watching Books and Jams, and I'm so excited that you're here, whether you're new or you've been here for a while. Every other weekend, I try to film a weekend vlog, just kind of sharing my life with you and what's going on and what I'm reading. This weekend, I'm hoping is a very chill weekend. <laughs> I've had a very busy week after a month or six weeks of a lot of travel and different things going on, emotional, fun, a little bit of everything. And now August is going to start to slow down quite a bit, even though things at work are going to be changing later this month. But for this weekend, I just have had a very, very busy, busy week. I'm very tired. <laughs> uh, normally, I'm, I'm a nanny and I watch two different families of kids. Um, and on Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday, I have a little dude who just turned four, unbelievable. Uh, and normally this year, I've been only having him in the afternoons. And this week and next week, he doesn't have any camps to go to. So I've got him for the full day, which has been a lot of fun. But he does not take a nap. He does not. He has a little bit of a quiet time, but he uh, is not great at independent play. So I basically don't get a break from eight to five, seven, eight to five. So it's a long, it's a long day and I try to fill it with a lot of fun things. Today we're going to be doing the gardens like we normally do on a Friday. And then there's a library that's having their end of the summer bash for their summer reading program. And they're doing pirate mini golf inside, I think. So I just thought that that would be fun to do. It's a bit of a drive away, but we're going to try that out today. Um, and then I'm hoping to just chill out this weekend. <laughs> but I'm, I'll am i tell you what I'm reading. Catch up a -thon, the readathon that I host with Amy from Amy's Bookish Life, started yesterday, August 1st, and goes till the 14th. So during that time, even though I'm going to be reading other things as well, I'm always going to have a book of the month on the go. And yesterday I started The Mystery Guest by Nita Prose, which is the sequel to The Maid, which I really enjoyed. It's lighthearted. I love the main character so much. Even though it is a murder mystery, it's one of those, it's not cozy, but it is a lighter hearted mystery. And there's a bit of found family that developed in the first book. So I'm excited to see how that continues. I'm only, I'm actually about almost a quarter of the way through. So I will probably finish this one this weekend. I'm listening to this. Uh, and then I'm going to probably pick up another book of the month, but I'm also going to get started with The Shell Seekers by Rosamund Pilcher. I did mark this out for the month. I would like to like get to a certain point each week. So I'm just going to kind of get this one started. I'm reading this with a few of my patrons. I'm really excited to buddy read this with them. I'm also going to get started with The Castle of T Tangled Magic because I can't find this on audio. And this is the Middle Grade March Book Club book. And we have a discussion on the I don't know, 14th, I think. So I need to read this at the beginning of the month. So this has to work its way into the book of the month books. And then I also want to get started with Heinz Feet on High Places because we're talking about the first eight chapters on the 10th. So I want to at least start that this weekend as well. So quite a few things to get going bookish wise. I have lots of editing to do. I think I have three or four videos that are completed. They're filmed. I just haven't edited them at all. I have a lot of Patreon stuff to do and catch up on. Um, sharing some some of the chats that I had in July. I just feel like I'm behind on everything right now. Comments, I'm behind on responding to comments. So this weekend is going to be a very chill catch up, clean up at the house a little bit, but just spend some time on my computer getting getting some things done. Maybe I'll go somewhere that has Wi-Fi to like be more focused for a while. I don't know. I don't know. I'm hopefully it's super, super hot here. So I'm not sure I'm going to do much outside stuff this weekend. I don't know. We're just we're just going to have to see. But I really need some downtime because this week has been crazy busy, which is always hard. Maybe good after a week of vacation to come home to a busy week. But also it was a hard week. So I do need to get my nails redone. I'm thinking of doing gel one more time just to kind of close out the summer and then I'll I won't continue to do that. It's an added expense that I don't need, especially as my job things are kind of changing a bit for a few months. So we'll see what I get up to, but I just wanted to kick things off since I had a few minutes before work today. And I hopefully will show you some gardens and pirate mini golf next. <laughs>
Jude and I are enjoying a peaceful waterfall, shady spot to have a snack, listening to these little nut kind of things fall out of the trees. Glad that we're sitting underneath something that will protect our heads because there's plants above us. And I realized that I am doing intermittent fasting for the whole month of August, but it's gonna take me a minute to adjust. This morning I was cutting up peaches for his lunch and ate a little tiny piece of a peach without even thinking about it. And then just sitting here for his snack, I had a little piece of the granola bar that he's having and didn't even think about it. And then I'm like, oh wait, I'm not supposed to eat until lunchtime. So I'm giving myself grace. It's only the first actual day because I mean, I started last night after dinner. I wasn't gonna eat until lunchtime today. So basically 16, eight, if you know intermittent fasting, but I'm not gonna be super strict with the time. For me, it's more after dinner until lunch the next day is my fasting window, whatever that may be. I'm gonna try to aim for 16 hours, but it might change. So I've already kind of mixed up, messed up on that twice, but I'm giving myself grace because it's only my first full day. I'm just not into the habit of it yet. Um, and it's funny though, it's making me realize how much I actually, I mean, not how much, but I put those two things and ate them without even, without even thinking about it. So yeah, um, we need to go because little dude needs to use the bathroom, but um, it's, a, it's a hot day today. We're trying to grab our shady, resting spots to get a good drink and relax everywhere that we can. But time to find a restroom for the little dude. Nice. Oh, oh, go get it, try again. I waited until it was a decent a decent hour to go to bed. It's 9.30 now and I'm going to bed. <laughs> I'm so tired. This week really did me in. Um, I had so much fun with my little dude though today. The mini golf, pirate mini golf was really cute. The library really did a great job setting it up. It just was really hot. So I came home, had dinner, brushed my teeth immediately because I'm doing intermittent fasting and went to pay my rent. Enjoyed a little bit of a chat with my landlord and his wife like they're just really lovely and they live two houses over so I never just drop off the rent I always have to sit and chat for a little while I, but I really enjoy them so it was nice and I also finished the mystery guest today so I started this last night on sprints and I finished it today and I really liked it I really liked it I continue to really like Molly the main character in here uh, she's the, also the main character in the first one. So she's still a maid at a hotel. There's another murder. An important guest is coming, an author. And he's going to make this big announcement. So all of these followers and fans of this author come uh, to hear his announcement. And just before he is able to make his announcement, he dies. So, of course, the maids and the staff of the hotel are immediately suspect but Molly is just really smart um, and notices details that other people miss and so she is involved in helping to solve the murder as is the case in the first book as well but what I also liked about this one is that we're getting a lot more backstory of her as a child and some of the experiences that she had with her grandma who was so important in her life even though the grandma died before the first book started um, but but her grandma is still such an important part of her life and all of these little almost like cliche quips like little phrases that grandma used to say became such an important part of Molly's philosophy on life and how she views the world and have really been a help for her so that was a part of this as well but I loved the backstory I loved getting to know her a bit more as a child and kind of some of her experiences. So yay for finishing my first book of the month of the month for catch up a thon. This is my simple cover and it's my shish kebab. So, so far I've got some food. I've got some shish kebabs and I've got some baked beans. 
<laughs> so starting off as a good cookout, shish kebab and baked beans. I don't think I'm going to read anything else tonight. I did just like watch Netflix for a while. I probably should have popped on the Olympics, but I think that would have put me to sleep, honestly. So I'm just going to go to bed. It's super early. I might listen to an audiobook for a little bit as I fall asleep, or I might just go to bed. I don't have anything in the morning. <laughs> I don't have anything scheduled for tomorrow except going to get my nails done again. So, and that's not scheduled. That's just whenever I get around to it. I also really would like to go to the chiropractor because it's been a couple weeks. So that would be good to get that, get an adjustment. And yeah, I have lots of plans for tomorrow. I've started making a list on my bath bathroom mirror with a whiteboard marker of just things that I want to make sure to get done. I have filming to do, editing to do, reading to do, comments to answer, things to work on for the virtual reading retreat with my besties. I'm going to be doing sprints tomorrow night, I believe, with Amy for catch up -athon. So I just, I have a lot of things, computer focused things that I need to do. I have a couple things to film, like my book haul. All those books like up on the top there are things that need to get hauled. And there's a few on the floor. And my wrap up for July, just like stuff has to get done. <laughs> this week has not given me any time for sitting on my computer to work on stuff. So that's for tomorrow, not tonight. Tonight, I'm going to bed. I will hop back on tomorrow off and on throughout the day and let you know what's going on. Uh, it might be a little bit of a mellow weekend vlog. I'm hoping <laughs> that it's a mellow weekend vlog. We'll see. All right. I'll talk to you soon. I mean, in like one second, but I'm going to bed. <laughs> Good night. Good morning. Happy Saturday. I have been sitting in this chair for like an hour and a half or so. It's nine o'clock now. I got up at about 7.30, couldn't sleep anymore, so I got up and I've been doing little 15-minute sprints of editing, answering comments, cleaning up, like adding, adding books to spreadsheets, and reading. So I read a little bit of River Sing Me Home. I read just the introduction of The Shell Seekers, and I'm, I'm enjoying this one very much. I'm not really into the story yet of The Shell Seekers, but... I just wanted to get it started and I feel good about answering some comments and starting to edit a video that will hopefully be up later today. I'm going to get up now and do some cleaning sprints, one in the kitchen, no, one in the library because I have a little pile <laughs> on the floor over there that when I thought a friend was going to stay the night the other day, they didn't end up staying the night, but I just kind of like swooshed everything into the corner. So I need to clean that, clean that corner. And then a sprint in my bedroom as well. I want to change my sheets today. I had pulled out things from two drawers to declutter. So I'm going to work on decluttering in my bedroom. Decluttering slash getting, yeah, just getting rid of stuff. <laughs> that is what decluttering is, Krista. <laughs> so I'm going to do two cleaning sprints. And then I'm going to go ahead and get showered and up and like dressed and ready for the day. And then I'll probably sit back down and do more sprints or film or whatever. But yeah, today's all about getting stuff done. I feel good about what I've started getting done already. And I'm just going to kind of continue. I've been doing 15 minute sprints. So I just every 15 minutes rotate to the next task. Uh, and it's good because it makes me feel very productive, like I'm getting a lot done. So I'm going to go spend 30 minutes cleaning, 15 minutes in here, 15 minutes in my bedroom. I'm very repetitive. So I'm going to shut up now. Let's get this day going. I'll check in later. Here's what I'm starting with. It's kind of a mess and I actually already did a few things right here. So let's see how much I can get done in 15 minutes. Not too bad for 15 minutes. The area is clear. I did put away a ton of things. I still have these two piles. I just kind of put it all up on the couch. And then this is a, I don't know what you call it, a piece of material that I bought in Thailand that was woven and it's really beautiful. And usually it hangs over top of my fuse box. But because of the heat this summer and me being gone so much and I turn my air higher, like it's hotter in here. And so I need to just put some more command strips on that so that can hang back up there and be beautiful instead of this ugly fuse box. <laughs> so not bad in 15 minutes. I'm pretty proud of that. 
Now I'm gonna go in my bedroom and do the same thing. This is a lot more embarrassing. <laughs> so there's one drawer that I dumped out. My unmade bed, because I knew I wanted to change my sheets. Another drawer that I dumped out, another drawer that I dumped out, plus some clean clothes over there, plus suitcase that I haven't put away yet, swim bag from the other day, clothes like, oh, it's so bad. And the desk is a whole nother creature on its own. I'm not even gonna try to touch that in this 15 minutes, but if I can get the rest of this sorted a little in that, we'll see what I can do. 15 minutes, here we go. Okay, we're definitely not done in here, but that pile is all cleaned up and I did organize some drawers. I've got a little bit left on my bed. I did clean up what's on the chair and some of the stuff from the floor. So I feel like that was a productive 15 minutes, but I am going to stop there. I'll just come and do another 15 minutes later. I definitely did not change the sheets on my bed yet. So there's still more that needs to be done and yikes, that pile. <laughs> but progress, it's made. All right, my friends, it is now 12 o'clock and I can go eat. I'm ready to eat. <laughs> This intermittent fasting thing is going to be tough this month, but I made it till noon and I'm very excited about that. So I am now ready for the day, ready to film. I just sat and finished editing a video, so I'm going to get that all totally posted, then go have lunch and then come in here and film. I haven't done much else. I did a little bit of scrolling while I was sitting here. I watched some booktube while I was getting ready and then I just came and finished editing that video. So I feel like I've been very productive for it only being noon today, but I do still have a lot of things on my list of things to do. So I need to get back to the, the grind. I feel like the last hour has been not as productive as the first couple hours of my day, but that's totally, totally fine. Um, I'm up, I'm in comfortable clothing because I decided I'm not gonna go get my nails done today. I'm just gonna stay home today. And I'm very excited about that. I might make it out for a walk later, but it's so hot out that I might not. I might just literally take a day to be a lazy bum, except that I'm not being lazy because I'm getting a lot done. But I'm going to get this video finished. I need to make a thumbnail, upload it to YouTube, do the description, all the things, and then I'm going to go eat lunch. Yay for a productive Saturday and also a chill Saturday. I'm loving it. Here I am still in the chair. <laughs> I did listen to quite a bit more of River Sing Me Home. I put my book of the month here that I'm hoping to read this month or this catch up -a -thon, and I filmed two things, including a massive book haul. And I got that video totally up. I had lunch and now it's 3.45 and I think I'm going to go take a nap because I was up early today and I've had a productive day. <laughs> I deserve a nap. <laughs> um, I think it's going to storm later and I'm really excited to sit outside and read while it's raining, as long as it's not too windy. But I'm gonna go lay down for an hour, I think. And then carry on, carrying on. I slept for a little bit, or at least laid down. I don't know that I really slept, but I decided to come outside because I kept hearing thunder. And so I wanna be out here for the start of the thunderstorm. I don't know if you can hear it. There's been a lot of thunder. I'm excited. Anyways, so I came out here and I brought, I brought Table for Two with me, uh, which is a collection of short stories by Amor Tolls. So I would like to start reading a couple of these today. And also I got in the mail, try treats. Something is like open in there. <laughs> it's like a lot of moving pieces. But if you haven't heard me talk about try treats before, it is a subscription box where each box is represents a different country and snacks from that country. And they're so kind and send me boxes occasionally to share with you. So I'm gonna eat a little snack from my Try Treats box. I haven't opened it, I just took the tape off. I don't even know what country it is, but I do have a code for you, Books and Jams. If you go to trytreats.com and use the code Books and Jams, I'll have all the links down below. Uh, you can get 15% off of your first box. I'm so excited. Let's see where we're going. Should, I can't do this. I don't have my um, tripod out here. So I'm just like vlog style doing this this month. Let me flip my camera, hold on. Here's how it looks when you open it up. This is the flag. I don't know what that's a flag of. I don't know my flag. So we can open that up and it looks like, ooh, Philippines. This is cool, Bahal, Bohal, Philippines. 
um, my brother is currently in the Philippines. So that's kind of fun. Welcome to the Philippines. Tells you a little bit about the country, a little bit about their food and their cuisine. And there's another info, info card about the country. Fun facts, did you know? And then this is a recipe, sizzling pork sisig. Ooh, that's fun. There's a recipe every time. And then this is the card that tells information about all the different treats. I'm not gonna really look at it yet. And then there's a place to kind of rate how you like each of the items. And then this is the big box. So there's, I think, 10 or so treats in here usually. It's kind of fun because they're all upside down. So I can't really see what we've got. Let's go ahead and look at this one. Shrimp flavor. I'm not gonna eat that one right now. Let's see if I can find something I want to have while I read a book. We've got Hansel Mocha Sandwich Cream Filled Biscuits. Hansel. All right. Pillows. Ube. Is that how you say that? Ube Filled Crackers. Interesting. We've got this. Sky Flakes crackers. Okay. Prawn crackers, another shrimp ish oishi. I'm not going to eat those right now. We've got Choco Crunchies. Oh, I'll try that one. <laughs> Let's see, another ube cake. I don't know what that flavor is, ube. I know it's purple, makes things purple. Luscious ube flavor wrapped in a light, delectable sponge. Interesting. Adobo flavor. Bawang Cornic adobo flavor. Now tastier and crunchier. Very little chippy kind of things. And sweet corn, golden sweet corn. I don't know what that is. It looks like an looks like an angry pig. Pocket monsters. Okay. Well, I'm not gonna try any of the shrimp or things that are not um, sweet right now. I'm not in the mood for those. Or ube. Maybe I'll try one of the ube things. But I will try this little choco crunchies. Let you know what I think. That's a lot of little treats. It's a fun box to get, I think. I have fun with it every time they send me one. Okay, this is the chocolate crunchies. Choco crunchies. It's just a chocolate covered cracker biscuit. Yeah. A little chocolate covered treat. That's really good. It reminds me of those graham cracker, chocolate covered graham crackers. That's what it reminds me of. It's yummy. So I'll eat that while I read. Probably shouldn't because it's chocolate. Can you hear the thunder? It's starting to sprinkle. I can hear it on my hasta. Okay, I'm also just curious about the ube flavor. So I am gonna open this ube cake and try this one too. I'm not really interested in trying the prawn ones right now or the shrimp flavor ones or the corn ones. I'll save those for later this weekend, but I'm gonna try this one. Okay, I took it out of the package and it looks like this, like a little pillow, a biscuit. The outside is very light, cakey, delicious. Mmm. That's a good thunder. This is good. It's not, it's not super sweet. The outside is sweeter than the inside. But, I'll eat it. Yeah, I like the cakey part on the outside, but fun. I don't know what ube is. They might, I don't know if I'm even saying it right. I wanna send a picture of these things to my brother in the Philippines and see if he eats this stuff. All right, I'm gonna read while listening to the thunder and 
wait for this thunderstorm to roll in. Woohoo! The dark clouds have definitely come in a little more. It was misty raining for a few minutes, but not too bad yet. Still lots of thunder. And the wind has picked up a bit. Come on, thunderstorm. Show us what you got. Here comes the rain. because what I'm reading right now is a conversation about the weather. Yes, yes, I know. Where does it go? The weather. <laughs> That's his favorite conversational. <laughs> so this whole paragraph is about the weather. Pretty funny. Hello, hello, hello. It is 1030 and I'm soon going to bed in about 16 minutes. I'm on sprints with Amy from Amy's Bookish Life for Catch up a -thon. We've been going for three and a half hours already, and I'm a little bit ready for bed. <laughs> I'm tired, but I didn't read every sprint tonight. I also worked on putting some books away, adding books to Goodreads. I just have piles in this room that I'm working on cleaning up a little bit. I think tomorrow I'm going to work even more on cleaning up this room. Um, and then I also did a little editing, and I did read a little bit during one of the sprints, but during two of the sprints, three of the sprints, I worked on other stuff. I'm pretty pleased with all that I got done today. I do still have a ton more that I need to work on tomorrow, but I'm glad I did get some stuff done today, which, which was necessary. But I also relaxed quite a bit, barely moved out of this chair today. Uh, so we are going to do the same thing tomorrow. Church is online for me tomorrow, since the air conditioning is broken in my campus building. So I'm going to go to online church in my PJs at 10 o'clock. But by 10 o'clock today, I had already gotten quite a bit done. So that would be great if I do that tomorrow. But I'm also going to turn my alarm off. So we're just going to wake up when I wake up. And that's going to be amazing. It'll probably be 7 o'clock. <laughs> All right. That's it for today. I will, um, I'll check in with my reading tomorrow. I did, I'm a, not quite halfway through River Sing Me Home, but I'm getting close. So I'm enjoying it still, which is fabulous. All right, I'm going to get back onto sprints and read for the last 15 minutes. Uh, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Good morning. It is 9.30 on Sunday morning. My online church service starts at 10. So I have just a few more minutes to get some stuff done. I had a little bit slower of a morning today than yesterday, but that's totally fine. I still have a froggy voice because I haven't talked at all yet today, but I just spent some time going through emails and answering comments. I just did two 15 minute sprints doing those two things. And now I'm going to go do a sprint in my bedroom again. And then I'm going to get ready to do church online. Today's going to be another day of not doing very much, but getting a lot done. <laughs> So I really would like to work on some of the piles of books that are on the floor in this room and editing and a few things I need to do for Patreon and the virtual reading retreat with my girls. So those are the things that are kind of priorities today in the midst of reading and cleaning up a little bit here and there around the house. So it's going to be another not super exciting day of, of a video, but I'm, it's, it's, real life for me this weekend and I'm loving it. So I'm feeling good about getting caught up on some of these things that I feel like have been slacking over the last couple of weeks. So there you have it. I will check in throughout the day, let you know how things are going. I do need to go put my watch on. I'm determined to get a few more steps than I got yesterday, which means maybe going for a walk or something in the neighborhood or around 
somewhere, go to a park or something, but I really don't want to get in the car. So probably just in the neighborhood. <laughs> uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens. But for now, I'm going to go do a sprint in my room before my online church service starts. Once again, this is the situation. Unmade bed because I do need to still change my sheets. Pile on the floor. Some stuff fell off. Um, a little pile on the bed. I mean, it's not as big as it was yesterday. So I'm determined to make it even smaller. Here we go. 15 minutes starts now. Okay, clean sheets, clean area, even straightened up a little bit in my closet. Guys, two 15-minute sprints did the trick. One yesterday, one today, and these are two things I need to return to Amazon. That's laundry that's going to get done later. Yay! All right, time to make some lunch or dinner. I guess lunch. So I'm gonna use my Instant Pot. I haven't used it in a while. And I'm gonna make some chicken broccoli bake thing. I just found the recipe. I don't quite have enough chicken, so it's gonna be mostly rice and broccoli. But I have onion I'm gonna saute with the chicken and some spices first. So I've got like pepper and salt and garlic. Um, so I'm gonna do those first just to kind of give the chicken a nice little brown first, get it cooked, started to cook. Then I'm going to add my rice and my broccoli. Sorry for my messy counter. And then I'm going to add the broth and cheese goes in there at some point. I got to look at the recipe and one can of cream and chicken soup on the top. So we're going to put all that in the Instapot and it doesn't have to cook for very long. High pressure for three minutes and then just let it slow release. So there's my olive oil. I'm going to get started with the sauteing. Just took off the lid looks good all the rice looks cooked i just have to mix in the cheese i'll try to get the rest of that in a second this should melt just from the heat of what's in here Ooh. oh yum i'm so excited <laughs> yay for lunch not super healthy but not horrible either all right, it is three o'clock and I'm still in my pajamas and I'm totally fine with it. <laughs> it's just one of those days. I just spent a, quite a few minutes going through all the books in this room and putting them up on the shelves. I'm about ready to go through my shelves and do another unhaul because they're bursting at the seams and I don't like that. I don't have any more room to put any more shelves. So I need to downsize yet again at some point, but I'm not going to do that today. I also just put in a load of laundry and I finished listening to River Sing Me Home. River Sing Me Home was emotional and heavy and good. It was so beautiful. I think I'm going to give it five stars. I really loved it. Um, so Eleanor Shearer is, she takes some of the story inspiration came from her own family. So it's not autobiographical in any way, but it, she's from the Caribbean and her parents and grandparents experienced um, similar types of situations, but she read the story of Mother Rachel, I think, because that's the name of the main mother in this story. And she was so inspired by that, and as well as from her own history or um, ancestry, I guess. So it was really beautiful, beautifully written, and I loved it. So I'm giving this five stars, I think. It was very good. And I think I'm also going to give the mystery guest five stars. Did I give that a rating? I don't know if I rated that yet on Goodreads, but I really loved it. So why not? <laughs> I'm taking a little break from reading now because I just kind of sat here and played a happy color and finished this for quite a while. But I got a load of laundry in and have been cleaning up in here a little bit off and on as well. So it's been a productive day again, but a, not a lot of movement yet. <laughs> I got all ready to go for a walk. <laughs> and it started raining. My weather app does not say that it's supposed to rain today. Boo, I should have gone earlier. Oh man, so much for getting some movement in my day. <laughs> Maybe I'll pop on a video for a few minutes. Good thunder though. One of my favorite things about living here in Virginia is that there are flowering trees from spring until fall, and they're just so pretty. They're just so pretty. All like nine months out of the year, we have trees that flower. Yay. So 
advice. All right, my friends, it is about 1030 and I am losing it. I'm falling asleep dozing as I listen to my book that I picked, which I'll tell you in a minute. So I'm just going to wrap everything up here and go to bed soon. So this weekend, I got a lot of reading done and a lot of stuff done around the house and a lot of computer stuff done. I'm nearly all caught up with comments. I got my email down to a reasonable number. I did three loads of laundry and changed my sheets and cooked some good food, went for a walk. Like it just was a really good weekend overall. Exactly what I needed, very much filled with lots of downtime. <laughs> to actually this week, I still have two days off because my one family is away on vacation this week. So I have Monday and Wednesday off as well, which is great. I'm going to really focus on editing and, and getting the rest of the things done that I need to. But let me just tell you, so this weekend I did read two Book of the Month books for Catch Up A Thon. So I, com I completed The Mystery Guest by Nita Prose. I started this Thursday night, finished it on Friday, really loved it. I think I'm giving it five stars. I just really liked it. It continues the story from The Maid. We continue to follow Molly. We get to know her a little bit better. I loved the flashbacks in here of Molly as a kid with her grandmother and again, getting a little bit more of her backstory. I just, I really like her as a character. So this was a hit for me. And then I also really loved River Sing Me Home by Eleanor Shearer. Gave this one five stars as well. This one was a little more literary and historical and hard hitting. Like it just was about this mother going to find her children when slavery was supposedly abolished in Barbados and in the Caribbean in general, and all of the lengths that she went to to try to find and track down her children. It was sad. It was sad, but also hopeful. And she was just so strong and had such a positive outlook overall, even though she had dealt with a lot of stuff in her life. Like, I just really liked the main character in here as well, Rachel. Oof, really, really good one. I did read one short story in Table for Two by Amor Tolls. I read the first short story, and I really liked that as well. It was a little bit almost sarcastic feeling at times about a husband and wife who live in Russia, the wife is a supporter. I don't, I don't know the terms. I don't know if she was a Bolshevik. She's like communist. So she was against the czars with Lenin. And the husband was kind of almost a simpleton. Like he just was really, he, he didn't really think deeply about those things. And so he was the one that would wait in line for their rations and would meet people that were in line and he'd end up waiting in line for other people. But it just took a turn. Like we just kind of followed them through a couple different moves and it was kind of interesting. I just love Amortol's writing. And so I was very invested in that short story. So I'm looking forward to more in this book. I did read just the introduction of the Shell Seekers and I also found this on audio. So I will probably start this on audio tomorrow after I finish The Night War. So I am doing five star predictions with my friends Sarah and Lindsay who do Bookless Thursday. And so I have to have my three books completed by the end of August so that I can do the wrap up on the day that they need me to. <laughs> so I made really good progress in here. Um, like probably three quarters, two thirds of the way done. And I'm really enjoying this one as well. Follow a young Jewish girl whose family had already moved from Germany to France. And then when the Nazis start rounding up Jews in France, this little girl escapes and has some help getting out to the countryside in France, 
very close to the Vichy, Vichy, Vichy border, which is the unoccupied territory in France. So, um, and she's very scared to the point of anxiety attacks at the beginning. And I, even now I'm starting to see her growth and she is acting with a little bit more bravery and getting involved in some things that require her to, to dig down deep and find some courage and bravery and, I love seeing her development in that. So I'm enjoying this one. And that is it. Ooh, don't fall. That's a lot of reading. <laughs> so overall, I would say it was a very good weekend. It was just what I needed for this weekend. It might not have been the most exciting vlog, but it it's okay. It's what I needed. And oh, I will also link Try Treats down in the description if, if you're interested in trying out that subscription box. It's a really fun one. And I think that's going to be it. Let's chat down in the comments. I love chatting with you down there and I'm almost all caught up. I had to just kind of like some of the comments. I usually try to respond to everything, but I did get behind with all of my travels. So sorry if I missed kind of responding to your comment, but I did read them all. So I'm, I'm nearly all caught up with that, which is great. Uh, that's going to be all for me. Thank you so much for watching and I look forward to chatting with you in another video very soon. Bye.